Yo, what is up guys? Creative Corbett here. Today with a spectacular, amazing 101 subscriber special. Let's get into the video without further ado. All right, quick disclaimer. I am fully aware that my uniform has a lot more um, uncorrect things in it than I actually mentioned. I mentioned the main things, but there are much more things that are not correct about the uniform. It was just my best representation. So don't beat me up in the comments. I'm, I'm aware about every mistake. Uh, I'm aware about everything on the haversack. I've studied it quite a bit, but I just didn't mention every tiny detail because I was focused on other things. All right, enjoy the rest of the video. What is up guys? Creative Corbin here. I have reached 101 subscribers over the course of seven years. That's a, quite a while. I'm 13 now. I started when I was nine. It might be seven years. I don't really know. Didn't count. This has been a long journey and I made it to 100 subscribers, 101. Uh, I'm sorry, it's a late video. I just found out yesterday. So I'm doing an overview of my World War One. It's, it's supposed to be US, a US uniform, but as you can just see by looking at it, not everything is correct. Uh, I will first start off with the US haversack. Now one second, just see it there and then I'll tell you to come look at it. Just one spin around. Now, keep the camera, holy moly. I'm gonna put this here so you can see the haversack a little bit better. The belt is connected to this backpack which is connected to the canteen right here. Let me come up and look, take a look at that. It is World War II, so it is not real, but it serves its purpose. It's great to have some water with you. Uh, I have what I think is a World War I Brody helmet. Original paint. The liner is not original because I had to replace it with foam because the original actually got ripped out in a uh, video that I was filming. I had it on my head and jerked back really hard and it just popped off and so did the liner. So that is my Brody helmet. Then right here we have my, it's supposed to be a World War One gas mask. As you can see, it looks decently similar. And I will demonstrate and put it on for you right now. This is an actual, uh, this is a Hungarian M76 gas mask, but it looks a lot like a German gas mask. But I'm going to get an extension tube so it'll look better. One second. We have our uh, filter. It is not real. I uh, modified it. A little difficult to put in. There you go. Uh, this strap you see here will stretch and connect around to this little hook, securing it on your face. Do a little circle around. All right, uh, sorry I cut off uh, the phone after only someone called me, so it kind of just shut off. But that was it, that was the gas mask. I will not put it in the bag for now, just to save some time. But next we have the tunic itself. Now you can tell automatically this is not a uh, US World War I uniform. It has pointed collars right here and plastic buttons. And also the pockets. These, this ammo belt covers the pockets when really there should be two, one here, one here. And nothing special. It just it does good for playing outside for a good simulation. Now on my belt here, I have a bayonet homemade. So don't beat me up in the comments too much. It's not exact to what a rear bayonet would look like, but that's how it would fit on my gun if I did make it able to fit. 
this bayonet lug and sheath is supposed to go on the haversack on this side. There's a little loop, my finger's going through it. You might be able to see that, but it connects through the top right here and goes through the loop right there. But once again, I don't have a real bayonet thing, so I just kind of, you know, made my own. Canteen, already did this one. Now, I will do a review on the haversack close up. And here we have my mess kit, which has food, rations, everything you would need to eat for a short time. That simply buttons back up. Now, hang on one second. This itself, there's just a towel I stuffed in here because I have yet to find out what actually goes in here. I think it's blankets, maybe blankets and towels. This thing is heavy with the towels and the mess kit and everything. This, uh, this is an M1903 Springfield cartridge belt. So it goes perfect with my rifle as you see over there because this takes the same ammunition that that rifle does. This is a reproduction as you can see right here, JTNL 1918. It is not real, but it's dirt. It sure does serve the purpose. Now next, I think that might be, oh, putties. We have, these are real, real World War I putties. I'm not sure if they are British or American. And the boots too themselves are not real. They just kind of serve the look. Now, cameraman go around real quick. Thank you very much. Uh, as you can see, not hobnailed boots, just rubber soles. That's the bottom half. Putties are actually real. They're high quality because they have stitched ends so they will not frizz. You can see that little sewn right there. Yeah, they can see that. That's stitched, they're pretty high quality. Not to brag. This haversack is 1910. This is pretty like the beginning of the war, so it's very old. Uh, this is real. I'll point out the real things real quick. Haversack, real. Putties, real. And helmet, World War One or World War II. Those are the real things I have. And the rest are either reproduction or not even real. This is just, I forgot to mention the tunic is a Ukraine work tunic. So I'm pretty sure it's just civilians wore this. It wasn't really an army thing. But yes, I will put it all back on again and give y'all a good review. guys come here thank you so much for watching the video this is my 101 subscribers subscriber special and right here is my cameraman christian he actually has a russian loadout i'll let him do his description about how it is you can get closer if you want to uh it's not as complex as Cor corbin's here basically all all it is is some boy scout boots 
and some good and some olive green Boy Scout pants. Um, this chest, chest plate Cor Cor Corbin out actually made, made itself that I I got from him. It's, it's a very nice uh, addition. My helmet is a Russian helmet that I I found where I used to live. Cor Corbin oh so generously paid. paid painted the, the red star on it to to make it more Russian my my shirt is is actually a a, a US Army one <laughs> I'm playing both sides um I, I don't really have a, a Russian shirt but um and then I have an am, ammo belt right here which is a re which is a reaper production like Corbins, and then in my pocket, I, I carry a, a, a Russian Takarov. So yeah, it's a very small and s simple costume, not as complex as Corbins. All right, you may have the floor. Give a round of applause for Christian. He helped me with this video. Now, thank you so much for watching. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Go subscribe. Wait. I'm sorry, I thought you had a channel for a second. I was confused. Thank you for subscribing. If if you if you are not subscribed yet, subscribe, like the video, and comment. Ask any questions. I always answer. Uh, thank you guys so much. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace out.